All right. So in this first module, uh, we are going to talk about surface characterization, and I'm going to give you an overview of some different types before we get into some more specific techniques over the next three lectures. So I'm going to start out with a question, as I sometimes do. So this is going to be on your quiz, uh, but I want you to brainstorm what techniques can be used to characterize a specimen surface. We've kind of had some hints back and forth throughout the semester. Um, and then I want you to think about what information that technique actually gives you. So there's a broad range of surface um, properties that we could be trying to get. So uh, what are some techniques uh, for surfaces and what information does that give us? Uh, pause the video, go fill that out, uh, and then come back and we will talk about uh, some, some ideas that, that we have. All right, so let me give you some of the different characterization um, that, that you know I'm gonna talk about and uh, just a broad kind of survey. Um, I might be leaving some stuff out, so don't think that um, this is all that there is, uh, but these are some different types of information that we might wanna get uh, when we talk about surface characterization. So we could simply be talking about topography, right? So what does the surface look like? And so this is an SEM image that I believe I showed you back in the SEM uh, chapters. And so topography. So we know some techniques where we can get uh, that. Um, also, uh, something uh, like this image over here, um, this is from AFM, and that can also give us uh, topography of a surface, uh, but at a much finer level. So you see the nanometer here. So we're talking, you know, at the most, the, um, you know, zero to 40 nanometers. So we're, we're able to get really get good resolution of the depth. Um, we could want to know about the structure. And we've talked about this, right? So uh, surface structure, we could look at uh, with a TEM uh, and particularly uh, phase contrast or high resolution. Uh, we can get uh, really good resolution and therefore we could look at uh, surface and the surface structure. So these uh, looking at diffraction can give us that information um, as well. Um, we also um, may want to know the composition of the surface. So, you know, things like EDS, that can tell us composition, but we might, might want to know at an even finer level what the composition um, of the, the sample is. So there's different compositional techniques that we'll look at, and that will be kind of our focus for this section. Um, we can also look at surface energy. And so that could be things like this, you know, water droplet on a surface, um, whether it's hydrophobic, um, hydrophilic, um, lots of different um, kind of topics there, but uh, surface energy is a big one. Uh, also, reactivity and corrosion have to do with uh, electrochemistry. Um, those are very surface sensitive techniques because these reactions uh, occur on the surface. And so that's in this umbrella of surface characterization. Uh, some examples of the, the surface energy, this is, you know, a contact angle test. We're basically uh, applying a droplet and measuring the angle with the surface. Uh, so that's just one example of that type. All right, so like we said, topography of a surface, we can obtain that with some of the techniques we've already talked about. Uh, light microscopy for larger um, uh, features, SEM and AFM for much smaller uh, features as well. You could also throw in uh, TEM in some cases. And so, uh, you know, this is an example, you know, like I said, this is an SEM image with a great depth of field we have. This is just a light microscope image, very low magnification, showing the general sort of fracture topography of a sample. Uh, scanning, scanning tunneling microscopy gives atomic level resolution uh, of the surface. AFM, again, gives you really good resolution of height. Um, so if you're looking for very uh, small differences in height, this can be great. Uh, and so all of those techniques give you some idea of topography. Um, AFM, uh, we can also use this um, not only to get the topography, but we can actually get surface force measurements. Um, and so these are these measurements tend to uh, be fairly um, uh, in, uh, time consuming and, and uh, hard to perform. Uh, but the cantilever and tip that we have for AFM 
that is what gives us the imaging. Um, we can, this is basically scanned across the surface to give us an image, but we can also use it um, to uh, look at the surface forces. And so, for example, if we have some type of um, um, a surface group that's attached to a substrate, uh, we could attach to that and basically pull on it and see what the, the force is. So that's kind of what's happening uh, in this case. Um, also, just getting close to the surface can give information about Van der Waals forces and, and so forth. Um, so I, I believe there are going to be some groups that talk about this kind of uh, surface technique. And so we'll learn a little bit more about that. Um, <clears throat> other uh, techniques such as uh, BET and uh, mercury porosymmetry. Uh, these give us information about surface area and also the pore structure um, of the surface. And so um, BET is after, uh, named after three scientists uh, that came up with this technique. And basically we absorb gas onto the surface and um, that amount of gas on the surface gives us the surface area, but also gives us the variety of different pore sizes. So like this narrow one and this much wider one, uh, we can obtain that kind of information with BET. And uh, mercury porosymmetry is, is very similar, uh, but instead of the gas uh, absorbing, we have the liquid mercury uh, that is forced into um, the pores on the, on the surface, and that gives us that information. So these are all techniques to give us, again, some more information about the surface structure. Um, a little different than topography, uh, gives us some quantitative numbers uh, to look at. Uh, surface energy. Um, also, you could throw in adhesion uh, studies. Uh, like I mentioned, the contact angle where you're looking at um, the angle of a droplet on a surface, and you basically measure that with a goniometer. Um, also, adhesion, you know, this is if you're looking at things like tapes and so forth, um, um, or glues, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever types of adhesives. This is a common test where you either expose it to a tensile peel or shear type test to, to measure that that strength. And these would all obviously be um, dependent on the surface structure of that um, interface. Um, like I mentioned before, uh, most electrochemical techniques um, are studying surface um, reactions, such as catalysis, uh, chemical reactions, and corrosion. These are all surface uh, techniques or surface uh, reactions. Uh, so something like uh, cyclic voltometry or CV, um, this uh, uses a potential sweep. So we scan uh, the potential um, against a reference on a surface of interest and we look at the absorption and desorption of uh, species and also reaction reactivity of, of surfaces. So these different peaks that we see here correspond to different events that are happening on the surface. We can also do something like a rotating disk electrode or RDE. Um, this is uh, a method where we have uh, convection. Um, this uh, electrode with our sample on it or the surface is rotated. Um, and then uh, we can study diffusion and reactivity that happens uh, when there's a more continuous supply of reactant to the, the surface. And so those are, again, studying surface reaction. And this is just a couple of those techniques. There's a lot more uh, electrochemical techniques out there.